Pisces, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, beautiful soul, we always want to remind you, right, that we're going to go through moments of um, lower dense energies that are that we're experiencing. And these lower dense energies make us feel really not ourselves. We feel more sad, you know, I don't want to throw the word depressed out there, but we feel really, really bad, right? We're not ourselves. We're not abundant. We're not joy. We're not seeing things. We tend to want to compensate for that feeling by using drugs, drinking alcohol, eating foods that we know, you know, don't actually make us feel better in the long run, you know, just really feeling uninspired and unexcited. And it is because there is um, this uh, focus on, 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 on missing something, okay? This focus on missing something. That's always where this comes from. Because when we focus on the missing or the lack or like we are without, then we, we feel that feeling, right? So even though we're in this low vibe, kind of uninspired, unexcited kind of an energy, and whether it's surrounding your relationships or your, your financial situations, either way to solve this and to overcome this moment, right, is to understand that there's just a, it needs to be more of a balance between your masculine and feminine energy. And what this means is the feminine energy is the energy that connects. It's your divine feminine, the divinity, and it's where you receive guidance and you are connected to your to source and guides and angels and the beings that assist you when we are disconnected from that source especially for an empath it, we're really lost and alone here and it feels very challenging we feel very stuck we feel like there's no hope we feel like whether whatever it is right our debt the weight we want to lose our relationships we just feel absolutely stuck and absolutely it's impossible to move forward that's how it feels it's just impossible and it's in these moments we want to remind you that it's this specific energy that you're experiencing. I know, right? Just bear with me. This specific energy is where you're going to receive the most clarity for your life moving forward. It's in these dense moments. It's in these most challenging times that you are going to overcome this adversity and rise up. And right now, it's just about connecting to anything in your life that leaves you feeling that feeling of satisfaction, that leaves you feeling like you're on track, that leaves you feeling progressive. You know, even if it's like, you know what, I don't even know why, but I'm just going to wake up early and I'm just going to, you know, listen to a law of attraction video and take, you know, a couple notes. I'm just going to wake up uh, and, and meditate. I'm going to intentionally connect. Maybe I'll do a little exercise, but just keep progressing through this dense energy. Keep moving forward. Keep saying yes to the things that, you know, leave you feeling satisfied. Maybe it's, you know, maybe you're a mother and preparing meals for the house and for the kids and whatever early in the morning. Maybe that's a feeling of satisfaction. Do that first. Maybe if you live alone, then maybe just waking up early, getting in a little workout and spending some time with yourself. Maybe that's that feeling of satisfaction, right? Maybe it's working on your creative project, your book, your work endeavors. Get that done first, but just keep moving forward. Things will unfold very quickly here, and you are going to see that there is, it is going to result in, a, in, in, in an energy of happiness and a come together. So there's going to be a reunion between you and someone you love, someone you care about, but either way, there's going to be happiness, and there's going to be joy that comes into your life, and it's all going to come from just you remaining consistent with what it is that you know you have to take care of that leaves you feeling satisfied in your life. And yeah, we got to push through this dense energy, my brothers and sisters. We all experience it. I'm feeling it a little bit myself today, but I always always remind myself, you know, through this dense energy is where I'm going to be experiencing the most clarity because this is really your higher self being like, time to kind of go back to the drawing board. There's something that we're missing here. So I know my higher self is communicating with me right now in my, in my lower, not, I don't want to say lower vibes, but just more, I could tell something is shifting, changes happening. And so it's about making sure we're in balance with all things in life. And so this is why we have the giving and receiving card because when we only, for instance, give or like 
put energy towards something to get something from it. I'm going to do this to get this. And if I get this and get this, and we're constantly just thinking and tweaking and working everything out, we're almost in this efforted energy, right? Where we're constantly moving. And in this, in this efforted energy, I mean, things get done, right? We, we, we progress, but it feels like it takes from us almost too. And so we have to really like bring ourselves to the present moment and remind ourselves that we have to have fun along the way. Right? We actually have to be present and, and, and practice stillness and practice communication and practice listening to our intuition and our heart space and, and not just um, you know, getting carried away in the game of life and trying to like create and build and make money and lose weight because it will just tax us. It will just stress us. We have to have a nice healthy balance and remember that all things come in time. So just that reminder that you are a co-creator. And what this means is that everything that you've asked for, every possible little thing that you have asked for, right? The universe is conspiring on your behalf. So it's coming in, right? And we have to remember that there's nothing that we can do to um, make this happen any faster. This is something that will be, it will happen when divine timing is, has, 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 has become in a sense where all the puzzle pieces have come together. And so it's really just about living happy because when we are living happy and when we are living in a state of kind of release and peace and recognizing that, you know, sometimes we carry energy from previous chapters into the current chapter. So we think that we're supposed to be working on something in this time and space that we're in, but really it's, it's actually something we've carried on from the previous chapter. Does that make sense? And it's time for a new beginning, a new start. So open up your awareness to that. Perhaps maybe also there's something going on where you think that you're meant to be working and, and, and doing something that you've just been doing, but right now it's a new time and space and universe is asking for you to see things, um, you know, for you to maybe open up and just see where else might your attention and your focus be better served. And you'll always know where you're meant to be serving or where your focus is best served by how you energetically feel while you're doing it. So if it leaves you feeling in a state of like let go and bliss and satisfaction and joy and just feeling so good, you just don't feel like there's any energy that's holding you down. You don't feel density in your body. You just feel very light and very happy to be here on planet earth. That's how you know. And again, if, 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 if we're in a place where we're so far from that, then it's just about following the little steps to get us going. Like sometimes having a little extra espresso gets me going. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's start today. A double shot today, you know, it, whatever it takes. Cause sometimes we need that and it's okay. And you know what? You go through those days and, um, and you just follow that feeling of satisfaction. Also, um, working on something that brings us purpose is a big one. So if you are in the healer space, just, Focusing on, you know, how can I be my best healer today? How can I best serve today? And, you know, your, your higher self will always come through whenever we, whenever you put the energy out there of how may I best serve, you'll, it, it's, it, you'll always receive that answer. Now, your affirmation for today is gratitude is the life force of everything. And this message reads, I am thankful for all I am and all I have. My life is a perfect reflection of all I desire and things I want flow to me naturally. My life is in perfect balance as I tune as I turn my attention to what I appreciate most. And the journal prompt or the question for you today, Pisces, is in what area of my life can I be more thankful? In what area of my life can I be more thankful? So this is really a message for like the collective because really what area of life can we all be more thankful for, right? But really look around and, and assess because sometimes we make big deals out of things and um, it, it's because it's normal for us. Do you know what I mean? Like what's normalized in our world, right? And And... And, and we can always just remember that there's always someone with, you know, not that isn't as fortunate as us. And sometimes when we put ourselves to reality, it's like, well, you know, we're, we're all doing pretty good. And it's really just about there's nothing you have to do. There's nothing you have to do here on planet Earth. When you incarnated here, you know what you said? You were like, I'm going to go and have a lot of fun. I'm going to go and have a lot of fun and experience and see what this physical avatar can create. That's it. So ease up because a lot of the times we're so hard on ourselves because we um, put a lot of pressure on ourselves to, to, to make it, have this success, have this status, have this money. And truly, truly, you're going to get to where you're supposed to be and, um, and, and, and just have fun along the way.
So universe's message for you today is you might not know now, but you will. And this message says, think of someone very, very special to you. Now feel yourself bursting with love for them. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak them in that love. Now mentally shower, drench, and soak yourself in my love. Now feel it always, the universe. And this is how you do it, by the way. This is exactly how you do it. If you just sit in stillness with yourself, Pisces, right? Just sit in peace and start to go through the processes of focusing on different things in your life that you like, right? Or that you love, even better, or even that you love, right? Again, if you're in a, in a dense place, just focus on the feeling of satisfaction, maybe from completing something or from spending time with something. You know, I always feel satisfaction when I feel, um, you know, connected to my spirit and just, uh, you know, having, um, having time to do a nice big workout or just little things, right? And when you connect to that feeling, you start to uh, build the energy up. So it kind of guides you. So I might start with like, uh, oh, extra espresso. Okay, that made me feel a little bit better. Okay, uh, you know, a uh, nice uh, chunk of time where I can just be with myself and, and exercise in peace. Oh, that feels really good, right? And then from there, you know, I, I would really love to get a new book. Oh, that feels good. I'm really into Eckhart Tolle lately. So maybe an Eckhart Tolle book. That feels even better. You know, you just follow that feeling of satisfaction. And then you, you raise up your frequency. And then when you kind of just sit in that high frequency, once you raised it, that's when the ideas and the downloads come in. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there are messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.